Hello, Art 2 3D students. Your first project is going to be masks because last year I had a lot of art ones and I was like, why do you let middle schoolers do masks and not us? So, take Art 2 3D. We'll get to make masks, okay? Um, here's what you will need. So, I need one of these molds that are super creepy, but I'm not letting you do it on your own face because that's even more dangerous, so. You need a mold. You'll need water and some sort of vessel. Doesn't really matter. It can be in a bowl. It can be, this is an old Tupperware container. It can be in a cup. It doesn't really matter. You're going to need these guys. Um, basically, these are, it's plaster, but it's in the form of gauze so it's easier to manipulate because it's in strips instead of just like a powder you're going to need scissors which i forgot one moment please so scissors and keep in mind after you use these you guys wash them because if you don't they're gonna get the plaster stuck all over them and you're not gonna be able to get the plaster off and it's really a pain in the butt so just wash them every day when you're done doing this and you may need, you probably will, some extra cardboard because it's just an old box that I broke down. Behind, there's the big mural by the closet. There's a bunch of cardboard behind that blue storage thing. So, take whatever you need. It's just extra. So, there you go. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is come up with what you want your design to be. Um... You c the possibilities are endless. You can do an animal, you can do something abstract, you can do something inspired by nature. It doesn't really matter as long as, you know, you come up with a way in your head for it to work. Um, you have to attach things. It can't just be flat. It can't just be flat on this face and paint it and be done. That's trash. You're not doing that. You need to do something bigger. You're an art too, for Pete's sake. You can, you can do it. I promise. Um, so, first thing you're gonna want to do is start sketching out your ideas and coming up with a game plan. Sorry, my cardboard is like falling all over the place. Um, so I'll show you a couple that I've done in the past so this is one of the first ones i ever did i wanted it to look like a sunflower um and like you can see i have like these leaves glued on here just with hot glue just to add to the aesthetic but everything that's like coming off of here was just cardboard attached and i'll show you how to do that in a minute um and then this one was one i did super quick last year and I wanted it to just be like abstract like shapes so I just have like some triangles some squares and then I painted I could do more with this still but that's just what I have for that so first thing you're going to want to do is get after you come up with your design of course so you're going to get this gauze you can cut off a big strip and then just cut that into smaller strips as you go. So I've got this bigger strip and I'm just going to cut off pieces as I go. And as you can see, I have paper underneath because if you don't, it'll make a mess and it's awful to clean up. So you have this guy. I'm going to dip it in your water, squeeze out the excess into the bowl, not onto the table, and then just start laying it down and smooth out those holes. You don't want to be able to see the holes in your gauze. Like as you can see, like here, you can see through this a little bit, but once you get it wet, that plaster is going to become more pliable and 
you can smooth out um, all of you know. All right, so you can either do a you can either do a half mask, which kind of stops here. You can do like half this way, or you can do the whole face. That's up to you and your design. I don't really care what you do. Live your life. But yeah, so I'm gonna really quick do um, one layer on this, and then I'll show you how you add your extra pieces. So one second. Just a tip as I'm doing this, if you want to like lay a piece on here and then take water and smooth it out, you can do that as well. You don't have to wet it before you put it on here. Um, if you don't have any of the gauze on here yet, it's not going to stick at all until there's water on it. But since I already had gauze on here, I just stuck that little piece on there and I'm just applying some water. Also, you want to keep in mind wearability of your mask. So if you want to wear this, I would recommend um, including somewhere where you can attach like a string or something to tie around your head. So if I'm thinking about that, what I would do on the side here is just put a piece here and just leave a hole where there's no plaster. So a little hole right there and then I'll do another one on this side. Um, you also want to leave your eye holes open when thinking about wearability and whatnot. So this is just going to be my first layer. Um, it may take, I don't know, approximately how long this will take to dry. Um, I would just do one layer your first day, and then that is, once this is dry, that's when you're going to start attaching all your pieces that you want to add. So we're going to pretend like this is dry. Um, so say I want to add... Oh, I don't know, some horns. So you're going to need to make those out of cardboard. So take your cardboard. And if you need more heavy-duty scissors, there's better ones on my desk. Just make sure you get them fast. They're mine. Um, I mean, these are working just fine, so you might be okay. But I just want to show you... No, it's so and dry. Ugh, gosh, get out of here. So you can see how dirty, just like my, just from my hands, how dirty the scissors are. So just a reminder again, make sure you wash them when you're done. So before you attach anything onto here, you want to make it um, sturdy um, out of cardboard. So if I just want... You guys, my fingers are so fat. If I want to make some horns or maybe you want to attach like ears or something, I don't know. Um, you're going to want to make sure that everything fits on here first. So... It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to tape it on here anyway once this is dry. Um, but you can see that's pretty spot on right there. Um, but this is just going to turn out flat like this. So if you want to make it three-dimensional, here's what you do. Well, not three-dimensional. It's already going to be sticking off of your mask. But let me just show you. So I'm going to take my cardboard and I'm going to put this piece on here and I'm just going to trace it so it's the same Ugh, size. Keep in mind, you guys, when you're doing this, do it like not 
where anyone else is working on something else. Like if you're in a class with um, students who aren't doing this along with you, try to stay away from them because I don't want you getting their projects messy and I don't want them messing with your stuff. What I'm going to do is tape this together kind of like a pyramid. It doesn't have to be perfect either because you're going to put the plaster gauze over top of it and that's going to seal it. So give me one second, I need to get some tape. Okay, so I like to use the thick masking tape. If you want to use the skinny stuff, you can. I just don't. I personally don't think it works as well, so, whoa, that's just me. And this is why we lay paper down. Uh, so you're just gonna roughly tape it. It doesn't have to be anywhere near perfect. And obviously I'm gonna need one more piece right here to complete it. So I'm gonna do that right quick. And I'm just gonna do a little skinny triangle. You guys, this scissor keeps getting stuck on my thumb. I'm getting mad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this little triangle and the tape's all wet. I'm a mess. It's fine. So. <laughs> now you've got pyramid shape that stands on its own, so you can't see that it's standing on its own. But see, it stands on its own. So, this guy, once it keeps dry, keep in mind, mine isn't dry for, like, um, demo purposes. I'm just going to show you how to do it with it wet. Don't do it while it's wet. Once you do your first layer, you want it to be dry before you start attaching things. So, if I want this to go right here, which I'm just going to curve this in the bottom a little bit so that it, this, yeah, it'll look better. So, if I want to put this right here, oh no, we don't like that, that's like right in her eye. Okay, so like right there, you're just going to tape this to this. Super easy peasy. What I like to do is take the tape, put it on what you're taping down first, and then do like this. And just keep that onto there. That way it's completely flat on there. Um, obviously mine's not sticking because it's wet, which you're going to need, so it'll stick. Um, and then you just do the same thing that you did with your first layer. Use this stuff and layer it on top of this. And then once everything's done, it'll pop off. You might have to like bend your mold a little bit. But as you can see, like, on the edge right here, maybe you can see. It's, like, already coming off. It's not a big deal. It shouldn't be hard to get off. Um, I also want to warn you against putting plaster gauze on this lip here. It's just going to look sloppy, and you're going to have to trim it anyway. So just stick with this edge right here. Like, that's where you should stop. I wanted mine to come down right here. 
Um, and like this one goes right up against that edge, which I didn't do yet on this side, just because I didn't have enough time. Okay, I think that's it. Feel free to paint this however you want. I mean, obviously it depends on your design, which you come up with first, not before you do this. Okay, so you're finally getting your wish. Masks are being made. You get to make one and they're gonna be awesome. So have a good time. I know you will. You're gonna get really messy. Don't freak out. Everything will be fine. I miss you guys and I hope you have a great time even though I'm not there. Goodbye! Oh my gosh.